Thanks for following along with all of our boat work. We have some really exciting changes that we can't wait to share soon. Just to recap, last time we showed you our galley and the brand new cabinets and counters that we installed. We also measured for a custom water tank. We took out our tanks in a previous video and downgraded from our 200-ish gallon tanks to this standard 30 gallon tank instead of doing a custom one. Because it came standard, there were some modifications we needed to make, the biggest one being an inspection port. So I just cut a hole in our water tank for the access port. Worked out pretty well. Pretty proud of the job I did, even though I didn't have probably the best tool for the job. Cutting a perfect circle. Um, but that should work and that should allow us to, you know, check inside the tank every once in a while, clean it out. Now I just got to cut another hole for the sending unit, which will communicate with the water tank gauge and let us know how much water is inside the tank. how much water we have. Putting holes in our boat. Stop blowing holes in my ship! We couldn't access the nasty ass duck fill hose, so instead we just cleaned it and bleached it and then reattached it to our new tank. And then we replaced literally every other line on the boat that was just a standard gray hose before, but we color coordinated red and blue and did a lot of snaking through the boat and creating new junctions that didn't previously exist. That also meant getting a new water pump since the old one didn't work, but we are keeping our water heater at least for now. We just finished replacing all the lines, the water lines with this um, plastic tubing. So everything is brand new, hopefully it won't leak. But as you can see, it's kind of all over the place. So I'm going to add some 90 degree junctions and clean all of this up and screw it, fix it all to the wall. So it's nice and neat. faucets yet but pretty much everything plumbing wise is ready to go so I'm really looking forward to testing it. Right now if we did end up trying to test it we would basically have water spewing out all the loose ends of the faucets. The last pieces of the plumbing finally came. These guys. So that allows us to go from the plastic tubing to the regular screw-on compression tubing. That'll be standard with the faucets, so essentially you can hook up the faucets now. But there's no faucet installed. Not on this one yet. So we can turn this off and still test the water through here to make sure it's not leaking. And it won't come out because this valve can close. We just tried the water for the first time since changing all of the pipes and putting in brand new fixtures. I was really hesitant because I was worried about leaks, but Patrick kind of insisted that we do and we expected some leaks. Like we've never plumbed anything before. We did as good a job as could be expected. So there was one down here. 
at one of the joints that leaked. And then in the engine room, something that we didn't actually plumb ourselves here, the water heater is leaking and that piece has been glued in. So Patrick just tried to wrench it out. And did you get it? No. It's stuck. So something that we've learned over and over again, Ooh, Patrick just got it off. Since owning the boat is that cheaper is definitely not always better. We are extremely opposed to cutting corners because eventually you're gonna have to pay that extra cost and it's usually not money, it's time or resources and it can be dangerous and no one wants to deal with leaks in this case. The very last thing to do with plumbing was install the faucets in the aft and forward heads. This project had been on hold since the countertops are actually concrete. We'll do a reveal in a later video. And we were just waiting for that hole to be drilled since we didn't want to do it ourselves. But it's there, so we were finally able to put the faucets in. Good job, babe. I'm highly impressed. I'm glad you took care of all the plumbing. So it works. Now the only thing we have to do is connect the water filter to the faucet so we have hot and cold and then filtered water. And we still need to test the water tank system. So right now we're being fed water from the dock input so when we're out at sea we'll turn a manifold which will divert water from the tank instead. We don't know if that was working. Can't test that until the pump gets wired. All right, let's test out the water tank. Our level gauge that you see here isn't actually hooked up yet, but it should be wired in soon. And all the old tubing, other than being extremely gross, was also like junctions and little valves and things like under the floor, and pretty much impossible to get to. So I rerouted everything to be right on the engine room side of a wall. So now it's easily accessible and all the junctions are there, so if anything's gonna leak, it's not gonna happen under the floor. It'll happen at those junctions. It's a much better system. Go us. Stay tuned for an update on all the other boat projects we have going on, including my first attempt at tiling. No pressure. <laughs>